Good day and welcome to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz and we've been going through the book of 1 Timothy verse by verse. We're in chapter 4 looking at verses 7, 8, and 9 and going to talk about the aspect of eternal life. There is eternal life. Let's read then. But reject profane and old wives' fables and exercise yourself toward godliness. For bodily exercise profits a little. But godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. That's 1 Timothy 4, 7 through 9. Well, we know, you know, exercising your body profits much in this life. But exercising oneself toward godliness profits in this life and the next. And then he says, this saying is worthy of all acceptance. Now, in my mind, there's a couple of ways of looking at that. The obvious one is that this saying is worth noting in all of its totality. There is an afterlife. But it's also something that every human being should be willing to accept. Note the word all. All should accept this basic truth. This basic truth is there is more to life than the here and now. Now, it's true that some may scoff at the idea of a life in the hereafter. They live by the creed, you only go around once, grab all the gusto you can. But underneath that bravado and their hardened hearts is this nagging truth that's spelled out in Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has put eternity in their hearts, in our hearts. Now, for others, that truth is more evident, and so they invent religions of good works in an attempt to ink their reservation in nirvana. But the Holy Spirit, speaking through the Apostle Paul, spells out the one exercise that profits both now and for eternity, that of godliness. And it's not what you think it is. It, he's speaking again about that godliness that was summed up in the creedal statement of 1 Timothy 3.16, which was, Believe that Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Then you need to believe that he rose from the dead, that is justified in the spirit, that he was seen by angels, that is, the apostles after his resurrection, that he uh, was preached among the Gentiles by these apostles and subsequently by the church. And this eternal life-saving message was then believed in the world and then this same Jesus was received up in glory from whence he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. Eternity is at stake here. Where will you spend it? What will you do with this Jesus and his message? Jesus said in John 12, 48, He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. Believe these basic truths about Jesus, because this is what it means about exercising yourself toward godliness. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you much for listening. And remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.